as I was editing my video, I realized that most of y'all aren't subscribed, which is like a problem. Like, yo, this is free content, you know? So, help the boy out. Maybe, you know, subscribe, like, hit post notifications so you never miss an upload. You know, support the channel. Thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I will see y'all in the video. Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, WeJarBLX. Today, I'm with a friend of mine, ASU Elite. Y'all should check his channel. It's going to be in the description. But today, I'm going to show y'all how to level up quickly in Shindo Life, all right? So, uh, let's, let's just let's just go ahead and hop into it. If, make sure to like and sub. I already said that at the beginning of the video, so you already know what to do. But anyways, let me go ahead and get right into the content. So, first off, what you want to do if you're a Weed, you know, you're new to the game. I get it. I get it, all right? You want to get someone who's strong, right? Who can farm these quests easily. So you want to hurry up and get into a squad. So first, let's do squad. How are we going to get into a squad? Uh, you have to press squad. I forgot to do that. I, I haven't played this game in a while. Um, so yeah, so invite is going to say invite me. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do accept and then their name. Oh, why am I getting damaged? Oh, wait. I bet it. So now, um, now uh, we're in a squad. So now that you're in a squad, there's EXP share. So when, um, let's let's say that uh, my friend here is uh, the guy who needs leveling, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't if you see his rank. But uh, let's say if he needs uh, leveling, what you're gonna want to do is you want to let him set the quest while you go out and do the quest all right and make sure that the person who's going out to do the quest can kill them in seconds so uh for example uh set a quest so the person who's going to be leveling is going to have to leave the village so that the second a, a quest is set you can go ahead and do it and so you want someone who's like who has a lot of power who can like clap them in like seconds like boom that quest is over i think oh never mind never mind all right now it's over now it's over so you know you want you don't want to you don't want like the person doing the quest to be like some noob who you know takes a while to do it. You want someone who claps them in like seconds. Like when I say seconds, I mean like seconds. So and also someone who can fly really helps too. I mean I'm I'm pretty good at you know tree jumping, so that that helps as well. So find someone who's good at doing the quests who can clap them in like seconds. Like I'm telling you, like seconds. Um and uh, yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. You know, someone who doesn't take too long with killing everyone. That's the best way you're gonna farm. You know, and so that's so you're so the person who's killing everyone is making sure everyone gets EXP and uh, keeps the kills, you know, consistent, you know, so you guys don't have to take too long, you know. Um here we'll, we'll show you all again. Find, and if you need to if you need to find someone who's strong enough to do this just go to my discord server there's a link down below always and uh, you'll be able to find someone who can help you and that's pretty much it just do this and I suggest you stay in the leaf village because the leaf village has fewer quests but it gives more exp than the rock village or sand village they have tons they have lots more quests but the quests don't give as much exp as the uh, you know the the leaf village does so i do suggest that you guys go ahead and uh use the leaf village to grind and pretty much just you know do that and it'll be good um but anyways y'all that was a short video showing y'all how to level up in shinobi life i hope that helped make sure to join the discord down below if you need any more help and this is we jar signing out peace out y'all have a good day